we're having an overheating issue um started after we got back from our north carolina trip um put 1638 miles there and back on it no issues as soon as we was coming back through atlanta started having an overheating issue um found out that it was out of water didn't really think nothing about it just topped it back off and started kept driving it for a while and i would constantly have to put water the heat quit working in it so i was thinking well maybe the heater cores stopped up or leaking so we started to think that but i just kept topping it off well it started getting worse and worse and worse i found a hose in the back that was leaking um it's right on top of the exhaust so in that case i thought well the hose was leaking it's burning off on the exhaust so i replaced that hose didn't make it like 10 minutes down the road overheated so i was going to do a radiator flush on it in process of doing the flush noticed that it overheated just idling so i was like well there was steam coming out of the radiator cap and the hose was just rock hard so figured we might better do a combustion test on it and see if we have any head gaskets leaks or anything like that so we're going to do a combustion test on it and if it is bad head gasket we're going to put um gasket sealer in it and then run it until it quits This is the sealant we chose. Chris Fix did a video on it and it actually worked for him for two years. If it works on this, I'll be very surprised. If not, then I guess we'll have a video on pulling the motor and putting a new one in. So we're just going, it says to, to pour the whole bottle in there and run it and then let the engine cool and then top it off and drive it again. So. seal the outside radiator up. Well, we had the heat on full blast. We have the car idling. It did throw a check engine light when all this started. It started having a bad misfire. So we're going to let it idle until it gets to operating temperature and then we'll shut it down and let it cool. And then we'll come out, check the water, see if it needs to be topped back off. And we'll go for a 15 minute drive and see what happens. And then we'll come back and let it cool. And hopefully the gear can get us by for a little while so that we can go test out this front locker. going to do a combustion test again to see if it's sealed it or if it's still the same.
like it. Go back there and tell Pot. If you take this and put it at the tailpipe and suck the gases in, it should turn yellow. So if you got a head gasket leak, it should look something like that. So we did the gasket sealer. We had a check engine light before we did it. The car was idling really bad almost idling so bad that it wouldn't go anywhere um did the ceiling on it we ran another combustion test came back negative um there's no miss on it i put about 400 miles on on it since we put the ceiling in there it idles super smooth it idles way smoother than it did before so apparently it had a gasket leak for a while so we're gonna ride this out and see how long it lasts if it is to fail soon then we'll figure it out and get a new motor because this motor does have a bad rattle but for for a fix on a crap motor or something like that it, it definitely isn't a bad thing um especially if you plan to replace the motor or anything like that because now the heads are probably warped and stuff like that so but it's been running and driving like like it should uh, we did wheel on it one night and didn't have any issues so i'm gonna keep running it and see how long it lasts